This is a 2016 Dodge Challenger RT Plus, y'all. They come with them headlight caps and you can remove it and it'll be see-through. So you pretty much be able to see straight through the engine bay right here if you wanted to. Okay, so as y'all can see right now, I still got the OEM uh, air intake box, y'all. I already got my headlights revealed, y'all. Pretty much these is my caps right here that I gotta get removed. It's one little screw, a little silver screw right there. It's right here, y'all, if y'all can see it. Let me try to zoom in. That little itty bitty screw right there, if y'all can catch it in this little one right here, y'all, so. And start getting this screwed out just so I don't drop it like I said, because look at it. You feel me? Y'all might be able to hear it, y'all. I can hear the difference. It's like... They know that. We know that. She know that. <laughs> yeah. What we doing? What we doing? Okay. Yeah. What's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy, 345 German. In today's video, man, we are going to be doing a mod for the demo, man. So today, man, we're going to be doing a mod that we pretty much should have been dealing with the car when we first... Got it, man. This was a mod that should have been done because this is one of the mods where you don't even got to spend no money for it. All you need is like a little ratchet and like a 10 millimeter socket, y'all. So we're going to be showing y'all what mod I was supposed to be getting done, as y'all can see. And then today's mod, we're going to be taking the headlight caps out, y'all, so we can let it breathe a little bit and so we can be able to, you know, get more air, uh, airflow through the uh, engine bay, man. So pretty much take these off let y'all hear what she sounded like um and pretty much get y'all a before and after man so i'm gonna do i'm gonna rev it a couple of times i'm gonna the remote start it and then i'm also gonna do a pov after and see if i feel like if it move a little bit different and just see if i feel like it sounded a little louder or it sounded a little better y'all this is a 2016 dodge challenger rt plus y'all but like I said, this is a mod I should have been done for emo, you feel me? But we just now about to get it done now. So let me go ahead. Um, remote starter for y'all. Um, after that, pack out it a couple times. Then I'm pop the hood and actually go ahead and start this mod for y'all so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Because if y'all boys do not know, they come with them headlight caps and you can remove it and it'll be see-through. So you pretty much be able to see straight through the engine bay right here if you wanted to just because you took out those two left lights right there what are two center lights y'all and to give more airflow so let me go ahead um remote start real quick and also um like i said i'm gonna pat it a couple times for y'all let y'all hear what she sounded like with the new quad tips as well y'all so you feel me we trying to do emo we trying to change her up a lot before it get cold outside and let me go ahead y'all wondering what i got done to my exhaust setup y'all i am um i'm fully straight pipe y'all so i got no bad mufflers no resonators and then i also just got rid of the old uh, exhaust tips and put quad tips on there so that's pretty much all i got done y'all i still got my catalytic converters so i still got my cats pretty much i'm not catalyst just yet but as y'all can see um that's what she sounded like for now let me rev it a couple times i'm gonna pretty much show it towards the hood so y'all can see like a feel here uh the air intake just a little bit. Let me go ahead. All right, she was definitely loud as y'all. So let me chill that out. But we popping hood real quick for y'all. Um, let me show y'all. Fucking bugs on my shit. Yeah. He knew better. Okay, so as y'all can see right now, I still got the OEM uh, air intake box, y'all. I do not have an aftermarket air intake as of right now, y'all. But it's a way that you can still get more airflow. Once you remove these panels, 
and you get up under here and you get a ratchet set. So I'm gonna do that, but first I gotta get my uh, drill yard because I have to remove these screws because mine's did not come with the screws. This is symbol jaw, I actually like that. So let me go ahead and remove one, two, three, four, and five, and then we'll be able to take these out so we can go ahead and lift it out and go ahead and reveal the bottom half of my uh, headlights. And as our boys can ask, see, we done got the drill. We about to go ahead and start getting started. So we got five screws, like I said, one. Let me go ahead and take this. Uh, make sure you don't lose these, y'all. So I'm gonna put these in my pocket. One. Two. Last one for over here. This will be the third. And then you got your other two on this side, y'all. Boom, okay. Now I can move this on my way. I'm gonna sit it on the floor, and just so I don't drop anything. And the easiest way to get this out, y'all, is by lifting this up like this. Boom. Pull right out, just like that. Same thing with the other side. Well, pretty much this side gonna be easier now. You pretty much gotta take that side out first, and then this side should be able to just come right out, y'all. I already got my headlights revealed, y'all. Pretty much these is my caps right here that I gotta get removed. It's one little screw, a little silver screw right there. And then there's also one on the back side. I might not be able to show y'all as good as I want to. It's right here, y'all, if y'all can see it. Let me try to zoom in. That little itty bitty screw right there, if y'all can catch it in this little one right here, y'all. So pretty much gotta get that out for both sides. And we should be able to pop these caps out. And then I'm gonna rev it a couple times, pat pat it a couple times, see if it made a difference and see if we can um, pretty much get more airflow, better temperatures, cooling temperatures, shit like that, man, like I said. So let me go ahead and find what size I need to get for this. And then I'm gonna cut back on the camera, man. All right, y'all, so I got one that fit, but it's real loose. <clears throat> so we are gonna hope that it does not fall out, man. We pretty much gonna try to already have a set on the, uh, actual screw and then we're pretty much gonna try to start screwing it so i'm gonna try to set this up just so i don't actually drop the truck because like i said i did not want to lose this itty bitty uh tim because i think this is the only one that i have y'all so let me go ahead try to set this up somewhere for y'all and start getting this screwed out just so i don't drop it like i said because look at it you feel me like it's that that's how loose it is y'all so let me go ahead and try to set this up so i don't drop it well i'm pretty much not gonna be able to set this up anywhere i wish i had brought a cameraman with me today but it's okay so i guess i'm not gonna be able to uh show y'all how i'm gonna get it in there y'all but pretty much you gotta get this one right here uh, like i said this little gray screw and then the other one on the other side but i don't want to drop my screw because i just showed y'all how loose it was because i don't have a different size and extension for it or anything so i gotta work with that but let me go ahead and try to get this in um, and, and then I'm gonna cut back on the camera once I'll show y'all that they out when I actually push them out for y'all stuff like that Y'all we've been doing this for at least 30 minutes. I don't took my Apple watch off and everything. My hands started getting dirty Y'all this is such a tight space that I cannot get this out with what I have y'all So I'm about to go have to run up to the uh, auto parts store So I'm gonna bring y'all with me real quick And we're gonna see if we can find a tool to get this out because I'm not about to end this video off by not getting this done man Pat part of a couple of times for y'all real quick before we get up out of here. I'm not gonna really give y'all no POV type. I'm pretty much spawning in there. So as soon as I get up out of here, we about to do some magic. I'm gonna show y'all how to, how to, you see me? Show y'all how to get up through. My quality, my quality looks ashy. I just had to wipe it off a little bit. But yeah, man, like I said, the tools that I have, uh, it's not working good enough, so I have to run up to the auto parts store to go grab what I need to be able to get this out for y'all, man, because I need this in a later video as well. So that's why I need these taken out as well, y'all. So um, I'm about to grab this. And um, the one I had, I had a one-fourth inch drive, but this was my socket was too little y'all so like i said y'all as y'all can see it just fall right out so we about to go ahead and grab this with all these different sockets real quick try to see if we can grab this up to be back man um i don't want to go ahead and grab this uh socket set so 
I'm about to go ahead and try to see which one to fit my um, T10 a little better so it can stop falling out, man. So I can finally get these out the right way. And then this is also a little bit longer, I feel like, so I'll be able to stick it down and get it in a tight space, I feel like, a little bit. Never ending, y'all. You always spend money with these cars, bro. I'm trying to tell you, man, like, oh my gosh, bro. I just spent an extra $40 trying to get this mod out just so we can get this little POV in, so we can get a little bit of airflow, man. So. I need y'all boys to like this video for me because this video costed money and it shouldn't have costed any type of money because I thought I had the tools, but I didn't, man. So make sure y'all get your boy German like. Make sure y'all following, subscribe, and doing anything to support me in any type of way. It don't matter what you do. You can like, you can subscribe, you can comment, you can share it. You can do whatever, man. But let me go ahead and see if this one will work now, y'all, because like I said, my T10 did not work. Ooh. And it's still far right out because... I think it's just a shitty T10, so I went on ahead and grabbed these, so let me go ahead and try this once again, man. Oh, we finally got this motherfucking, we finally got this little screw right here, y'all. This why it's so tedious and it's so, so difficult to get to because it's so small, as y'all can't see. So I got both sides out, so now let me just, fuck that screw. Let me just take this, if see, there we go. Just get my head like cap and just unscrew it right out. Finally, y'all. So look, now we finally got one side where we can see through, y'all. This is what we've been able to do. So now, so I can't see from the left compared to the right. Y'all see the difference? That side you see through, this side you don't, man. So, y'all, and so to get to this side, I feel like to get more space, what I'm about to do is I'm about to remove my air intake out the way so I can be able to like move my arm and get it on this side. And this side, I feel like it'll be a little bit easier, but I'm going to remove my intake box and just move it over out the way real quick. I'm going to probably just lift it up. So I can't see, like I said, I just moved it over to the side. All I did, uh-oh, my little T10 came out. But all I did was move this from at the bottom and then I screw these three little screws. I ain't even going to screw all of that, do all of that. I just need to be able to just get right there to get that screw out and get this one right here on the side so we can finish off this video, man. We have one more screw. We got the one out of there. Now we just got to get this last silver one right here, y'all. And then we will be done with the installation. And we're going to hurry up and get y'all in this little, small, little short POV. All right, y'all. And let's go ahead and take out the last one, man. Finally, we done got it out. So let me show y'all. You feel me? All right, man. And now we done with this. Let's go ahead and clean it back up now. And give y'all a small little POV. Y'all, we is finally done. We about to go ahead and give y'all the POV. I'm about to crank it up. Remote started to do all of that again, like pretty much like I did the first time. But I'm about to return these real quick because now I'm done. So I'm gonna tell them that it did not work, so I can get my money back. And now we about to continue. This, uh, we about to continue this video for y'all. Finally, I apologize if it took so long, and I probably had to do so much cuts in between when I was doing the process. But y'all, it was so much of a tight area that you can barely even get a dinner and stuff like that, man. So we're about to go ahead and do this. And let me go ahead and give y'all the first remote start, man. As y'all boys can see, let me start it from like right here. So y'all can see, man. Okay. Okay. I feel like it sound a little bit different from the front. I don't know. We about to find out in a second though, y'all. But I'm at the river a couple of times, see if I hear a difference and see if I feel like a difference while I'm dialing, y'all, because I should have a better air, uh, air ratio, stuff like that. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. If you're giving it more air, it should be breathable, it better run a little bit cooler, stuff like that. So we're gonna see if this is actually a difference, y'all. Y'all might be able to hear it, y'all. I can hear the difference. It's like. All right, but we about to go ahead and get y'all the POV. We about to get up out of here, man. So let me cut on these LEDs for y'all. And give y'all a small little POV. I'm going to probably get out about like five minutes because this video was already long enough for me trying to get those out just doing this, man. Put it in pap app mode for y'all as well, y'all. I don't got the head mount on. I'm using a selfie stick right now too, y'all. So if it's a little shaky, 
and it looked like um, a little bit trash yard. That's the problem. I just had to wipe the camera off, so I paused it for a quick second. Let me get up out of here. I'm going to put it in pat pat mode once I get a little bit further out of this traffic, y'all. It's low-key rush hour traffic, too, as well, y'all. And it was light outside when I walked outside, y'all. I think it was about 4 or 5 o'clock. Now it's about to be 8 o'clock. So, yeah, man. Make sure y'all liking this video for me, man. I'm doing all of this for y'all because this y'all y'all are part of this journey with me, man. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, that's not just my whip. That's y'all's as well, like I said, man. So... Okay. Okay. I don't know if it move a little bit better, y'all. I'm not going to do too much right here. Like I said, I'm going to wait till I get a little bit further. But I don't know, y'all. Just based off of that, I don't know. Let me look at my temperatures. That's what I should be looking at. I'm going to pull that up for y'all in a second. I'm supposed to be looking at my coolant levels and my air intake temperature, pretty much. So I can tell y'all that right now. Okay, so my air intake temperature is running. It's running low key. Um, it's 76 degrees out and it's running at 89, y'all. So that's low key still bad because I still got the air box, but I am gonna be upgrading to an air intake soon, man. So drop suggestions down on which intake y'all think I should get for the emo man. Seeing my boy with the uh the Hellcat Rango, so I had to pat pat it a little bit for him. But um, I'm about to hit this tunnel real quick y'all a little bit more pov footage like i said man i'm gonna be upgrading to an intake soon man y'all boys gotta let me know i'm gonna be doing it around halloween vlogs or either around the, uh, the christmas vlogs one of the two yards so let me know man i'm gonna be saving up like i said i got stuff planned for emo you feel me so yeah it is running 10 degrees 11 degree oh yeah this this switching between 9 and 10 degrees over the actual outside heat y'all so i say that's not too bad y'all but when i get an intake we're gonna hopefully uh see if it can be out of the negative zone y'all and actually be like um cooler than what the temperature is outside if y'all know what i'm trying to say man so um let me go ahead and give y'all a little bit more pov footage like i said i'm in the video off right here man i hope y'all boys just enjoyed it so far so good like I said, I apologize if it was a little choppy and messed up because it was very tedious to get in a tight spot like that because I had to go to uh, two different stores to go buy tools just to get those out, y'all. Those four itty bitty screws, man. I have this done on y'all, Charlie's. I recommend getting it done, y'all, because I'm gradually watching my uh, temperature changes. The faster I go, the faster my temperature go down. So as y'all can see, <clears throat> 73 degrees outside and it's 91 for my temperature. The faster I go, the cooler it gets, y'all. Like, if that makes sense. So, it get cooler as I go a little bit faster because of the, uh, the intake hose. I feel like now the headlight, <coughs> the, the headlight hose, y'all. Pretty much, if y'all know what I'm trying to say. So, um, I'm about to stop real quick and show y'all one more time, and then we gonna give y'all a little bit of a POV, like I said, man. And as our boys can see, that's an outside view once again. I'm gonna try to show y'all so you can see a little bit in there right now but i don't got the lights y'all y'all if y'all don't know chalice the newer chalice come with um they come with here lights pretty much inside the second light in the middle y'all so um i'm gonna be making sure i probably get that mine real soon y'all y'all gonna see what it is it's gonna make a difference when i get it y'all y'all gonna see what i'm talking about y'all probably don't know what i'm talking about but if you get to a scat pack hellcat or demon anything newer Anything above a scat, I believe you get a try. So let me go ahead, take a couple thumbnails, and then we're gonna start this video, man. Y'all see it just gradually going down. Y'all see what I mean? Like that just really made a difference that fast, y'all. And not even doing too much. As it, well, I pet patted, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I lucky just floored it a little bit, but as y'all can see, the, the more you drive it, y'all, the gradually, it'll gradually change. And it's a little, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, this is like a, a cheap mod. All you really need is the tools for it, y'all. So I ain't even gonna say you really gotta spend that much money for it. If you already had the tools laying around, you good. But if you did not, this would be like a $30 mod, I would say, because you will need a one-fourth inch ratchet, a one-fourth inch socket, and then you will need a 10-10, a T-10, y'all. 
T10, uh, y'all know what I'm trying to say, the EMP is pretty much to screw it. And you'll pretty much be good, but y'all, this is a TDS mod. I'm not going to lie because it is real tight and real small. Mods was in there, pre uh, they was in there real tight, y'all, so it might be good. It might be hard to get out. It might be easy to get out. It might just all depends, man. My light will turn red right when I pat patted it a little bit. Oh my gosh! Did y'all just see that? Y'all, it might move a little bit different, y'all. Hold on. Y'all, y'all see how much of a difference my gauge moved up, y'all. I feel like it made it gave me a little bit more torque response, y'all. I'm not gonna lie because it looked like it uh, moved a little faster and it feel a little bit different, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, y'all. I feel like I got more torque response, y'all, due to the fact that it's keeping it well, running in a little bit cooler than it usually is. Um. It's low-key running hotter than what it was before. I turned off the camera, y'all, and went to the gas station. It's at 86, and it's 68 degrees outside, y'all, so that's fairly bad, i say, type shit. But we're going to end the video off right here, man. I hope y'all boys enjoyed it. We're going to do another uh, test run video. We're going to do, like, another um, 0 to 60 video like I did in the past. And see if I can get any better runs now due to the fact that I got better air ratio flow. And probably by the time I have my air intake, y'all. So we're going to see if it make a difference, man. But I hope y'all boys enjoyed it. And we're going to end it off right here, man. Peace. Look at my racks solid. I see the grass getting long. Snakes, I'm going to mow it. I'm going to blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, top of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Big man, rock, can't fall.